This video is sponsored by Tupelo Designs LLC. U.S. shipping is always free with no minimum purchase and international shipping is discounted. Be sure to check out their daily deals section on their website. For today's project, I'm going to use this Ulta New Layering uh, Jellyfish Stamp Set and it's called Paint It Jellyfish and I'll be making a phone case and this is my old phone case. It's all beat up and scratched up. I've had it on my phone for a while and this is for an iPhone 7 and I'm going to take my stamping tool and I have a piece of uh, pattern paper. It's kind of a marbly type of look to the pattern paper and I'm going to put that in my stamping tool and uh, the pattern paper has been cut to four and three eighths by two and a half and I'm going to uh, see it's just that thin paper it's not the thick cardstock and because this is an insert for a clear phone case you don't want it too thick so I'm just putting that in my stamping tool I'm using the magnets and then I'm going to take some of the sentiments from that jellyfish set and I'm using uh, the relax and the in the serenity of the sea sentence and I'm just placing those where I want them on my uh, piece of paper and remember uh, what's my motto if you stamp them crooked you don't have to worry about stamping them straight <laughs> So I'm going to stamp those, uh, you know, kitty corner or crooked on the cardstock or paper, I should say. It's not really cardstock. And I'm using the Memento Tuxedo Black ink, and I'm just going to stamp those sentiments right on that piece of paper. And there it is, Relax in the Serenity of the Sea. And I'm going to place that back in my uh, stamping tool. And this is the outline of the jellyfish, so I'm going to put it where I want it. And then I will, yeah, it's just the outline. I always start with that first. If there's an outline, I always start with the outline first. And then I put that in my stamping tool, and then I'm using Distress Ink. And I'm only using one ink color, and that's that blue uh, salty ocean. I'm just cleaning off the stamp there because it was dirty. <laughs> I don't clean my stamps very well. But there it is, Salty Ocean. And I am going to stamp this at least four times to get a nice dark blue. And now I'm taking the larger surface of the stamps. It's got the largest surface space. And that's going to be the light color and I'm putting that where I want it and that's what's fun about these layering stamp sets you don't have to be perfect so I'm just putting it where I want it and then I'm using that I'm going to use that same ink pad and see uh, that paper shifts a little bit because these are brand new stamps but as long as I keep it in the corner I'll always get a, a good impression and so I'm going to take that same dis, uh, Salty Ocean Distress Ink and I'm putting it on the stamp and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to stamp it off because I don't want it that dark. I want it a lighter blue. So I'm going to stamp that off on a scrap piece of paper and then I will uh, you know, just close the lid again and stamp it where I want it with that second generation uh, ink print and I do this three times to get the light blue color that I want and then I use the second surface of the stamp set and that's going to be a medium blue so I place it where I want it and I close the lid of my stamping tool to pick up the stamp and I'll use that same Distress Ink Pad, the Salty Ocean, and I will stamp it once to get the medium shade of blue I want. And this is the last layer of the stamp set. This will be the darkest of the blue. And so I place it where I want it. And again, I'm going to use that same Salty Ocean Distress Ink Pad 
and I will stamp this at least five times until I get the dark color of blue that I want. The stamping is finished and it's the color blue that I wanted and in my opinion it's perfect. That's exactly what I was looking for and I only had to use one ink pad. I want to add some sparkle so what I'm doing is I'm taking a standard hole punch and some glitter paper that's a like a teal colored glitter paper and I'm just punching three circles so I can put them uh, around the jellyfish because you can't use dimensional items on this because this is going inside of a clear phone case so everything has to be relatively flat and I'm just going to attach those little circles those, those glitter circles with some art glitter glue Now that I have those glued on, it's time to attach this to my phone. And this is my iPhone 7. And of course you attach it to the back. And I'm just using, going to use a little bit of adhesive. And just, just three little, you know, tiny spots. And that's removable adhesive so I can uh, take that on and off and it doesn't wreck my phone. So I'm just going to glue that onto the back of my phone. And now it's time to pop on that phone case. And it's just one of those clear, hard plastic phone cases. And it just pops on. So I pop it on and then uh, my phone case is finished. And this was super fun and easy to make and nobody else has a phone case like this so it's unique and it fits my iPhone perfect and uh, you know I really like this. I will have links down below and an avatar you can click to subscribe and some other buttons you can push for some fun videos. And remember to shop at Tupelo Designs LLC. And thanks for watching. Bye.